Hi everyone, it's Ian from Q-Tips again. And in this brief video, I want to show you how to calculate the length of a line using a little uh, equation. So it's it's quite simple, and we'll we'll uh, we'll do it for a road network that I already have set up here. It's just a, a bunch of roads, and we can calculate the length for these roads. Okay, so this is the little road network network that I have exported. So let's have a look at the attribute table, and you'll see that there is a length column. So this one already has lengths set. So what you can do if you don't have uh, a, a length column is you just need to uh, start editing and then create a new column. And you see I've got one here. So let's what, what we'll do is we'll just delete that one and create it again. Okay, so you'll create a new column. Uh, let's call it distance. And then it's going to be a decimal number. Precision of three is fine. We'll say OK. And then you want to calculate the length for all of these. So it'll probably it'll come out the same as that. So what you can do is use the field calculator. And we're going to update an existing field, and the existing field is distance. And then we want to choose dollar sign length as the command. And you'll see under the preview that it has a value coming through, which means that it's going to work. If we click OK. You'll then, you'll then see that it comes through with the same length, which is length in meters. So that's perfect. That's what we want to see. Okay, so something to point out here is that this layer is actually a in in the the coordinate reference system EPSG four three two six, which is a geographic coordinate reference system. So you would expect the values to come through when you calculate for length to be in decimal degrees. But what the, the program does is it actually uses the project properties and the units that are set. So in this instance, it's using this ellipsoid to uh, predict the surface of the Earth or the, the shape of the Earth. And then it's using meters. So if we set this to degrees, for instance, hit apply, OK. And then we went and ran that equation again. So I'm going back to the attribute table, start editing, and then using my field calculator, I'm going to go to distance and dollar sign length. You'll then see that the preview comes out in a decimal degree. Okay, so, so now those length values are in decimal degrees. So you obviously wouldn't want to do that. You would probably want your units in meters. So what you can do is, if that ever was the case and you saw it come through, just go to your project properties and make sure that the, uh, the value is in meters. Okay, so let's go calculate that again. Oops, dollar sign length. Right, there we go. Okay, so now let's say you actually want to calculate the, the total length for every single uh, line in your data set. So what you can do, let me stop editing there, is you can open up the statistics or statistics summary option. And then we're going to use that layer and then we'll choose the distance column and then you'll see it has sum. Okay, so now that is a sum of all of the lines. So that's 44.8 kilometers of, uh, of line in this instance. But a nice thing that you can do is you can say, only show me the selected features and then as you select a bunch of features, so for instance, let's select these lines, it comes up with a, a, a total, zoom out a bit, it comes up with a total for the lines that are selected. And then we can continue to do that, select more lines. And as you select more lines, you'll see the running total keeps adding the new length as well. Okay, so if you, if you want a specific group of, of lines and you just want that length, select those lines and then the total comes through so that's a nice use of that statistics tool so yeah that's how it works i hope that's been useful to you um yeah good luck with that cheers